Poor kids are special plants. Have you got one at your home? Maybe. Have you ever smelled the soft and sweet scent of vanilla? I'm sure you did. For biologists like me, orchids are indicators of environmental health. They grow on the ground or climb on other trees, from the hot and humid tropics to the desert. Orchids are social plants. They create many links with the life around them. Fungi down in the roots supply them with nutrients. And insects ensure their survival by spreading the pollen from a plant to another one, allowing the miracle of life. Instead of providing nectar as many plants do, orchids use weird strategies for attracting insects. Many produce the sexy chemicals of the female insects. Other ones imitate food signals. Food? But how? I tell you through the discovery we did. Before, come with me into the forest. Smell the fresh notes of the eucalypts. Imagine that you are now a native bee, tiny but speedy. You are seeking the sweet essence of the flower, the nectar, offered by abundant uh, red, orange, yellow pea plants, native peas. In exchange for the nectar, you spread the pollen from a plant to another one. You look for nectar on orchid flowers as well, but you don't find any there. However, the pollen still attaches to your head and you spread it on other orchids too. Hang on, why do the orchids attract bees with no nectar? Remember, you are a bee. As a bee, you can perceive light frequencies that humans cannot, ultraviolet. You see in the orchid flowers, the same ultraviolet light emitted by bee plants. Exactly, orchid mimic pea plants with nectar for being pollinated. That's magical and unique. But we found also a dark side. The orchid survival strictly depends on pea plants and native bees. What happens if a single link collapses because of climate change or bush fire? I let you imagine yourself. This is not the end of the story. It's only the beginning. As a researcher, my scope is to know what the orchids tell us about the human impact. Orchids and native bees benefit when occur together in bigger pieces of bushlands, as the connection there are more vital. Vulnerable orchids teach us the importance of relationships. Let's take care of of relationships. Life is not just based on me or you, but on all of us.